Who said the deal? Who said the deal? Who said the deal? <laughs> Strobe, just buy one from the retail store. Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy, Strawberry Jam here, bringing you another episode of Boundless here on the Strawberry Jam channel today. Hopefully you guys are all doing absolutely amazing. I had to take just a couple days off because it, it was like my throat got into a fight with Conor McGregor, dude. My throat was in pain, it was hurting, it was bruised or something. Nah, I don't think it was bruised. It just wasn't feeling too good, man. So I had to take a couple days off to let it heal. But today, listen to this, ready? Ha! Feeling really good. And I, I I don't really know where to, to begin with this episode because I've been working on a lot of stuff behind the scenes. Firstly, let's start off with this. If you guys remember in the last episode, we dropped some of these in here. Some of these pure Certus Quartz crystals. Actually, well, we, we, we made the seeds and they take like 20 hours or 10 hours to grow. Well, look at this, dude. Now we got these pure Certus Quartz crystals. I mean, I didn't really just sit here and like wait for them. I, I just sort of opened up my Minecraft and sat here AFK overnight and they were fully grown. But dude, we got them. So I'm going to pop those in the chest and we'll work on those in a quick sec because I do want to move forward with my Emmy system today. We made the energy acceptor in the last episode. We also made the charger. And in this episode today, I want to make the ME drive and maybe the crafting terminal, but I might just make the drive because I don't want to, you know, get too ahead of myself. Anyway, one big change incoming right here. Dude, let me just jump right here. Boom. Oh, this looks really good, Strawberry Jam. What did you do? Oh, you don't notice it? Well, I did a lot of work. I think this is something that only I'm going to notice. If I come over here and I crouch, you can see there's a block hitbox here. If you guys remember in the last episode, we're working on these hidden lights. And if I hold this, you can see that my frames go down to 19 frames a second. Okay, there we, 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 we're coming back. And um, yeah, I went to the nether, got a bunch of glowstone. The hammer like breaks through glowstone like it's nothing. So it was very easy to farm glowstone. But I filled the entire thing in here with hidden lights. And now the lighting is so nice, dude. There is no shadows. If you guys pull up an older episode, you'll see there's like little patchy shadows everywhere and stuff. Hey, none of that, dude. None of that no more, dude. Our triangular prism is looking delightful i'm loving it dude it actually looks so nice i'm so happy and thrilled the way it looks it just looks it looks fantastic anyway next big update is what's in this little blue hole here and i should actually put my sheep pet like this before i go down because oh oh, oh, oh. oh oh would you look at this oh my strawberry jam you've been doing work dude so i dug out this big hole here including this big meteorite that just happened to be here which was very frustrating because in this blue hole down here i want to work on mystical agriculture i don't know too much about this mod uh but i want to just get started with some very basic things uh in this episode the way this mod works is it has like some like tiering system to seeds you make different tiers of seeds so the first thing you make is like the base crafting seeds which is very simple to make and then you use these to build up to the tier one crafting seeds and then the tier one crafting seed can be used to make tier two crafting seeds or you can plant the seeds and make stuff like dirt seeds or uh, nature seeds or wood seeds or water seeds and then what you do with these seeds is you grow them and then you get the essence and then you use uh, like the essence in certain crafting recipes to uh, make certain blocks and stuff, which is really cool. It sounds super ridiculously OP, but it, it's a it's a hell of a grind, dude. It's a hell of a grind. So I'm going to start off by making the tier one seeds today. I'm going to break out a bunch of this stuff. I don't know how much I want to dedicate to making these tier one seeds, like how much land down here. I think we'll focus on that a little bit later. This is the start of a grind. And then also down over here, I have a little exit out here to the, uh, to the main world. I don't know what I want to put there, but I'll put something there to block like mobs and stuff coming in. But, you know, it's a nice little exit to, to the, the downstairs down here because I really don't have any access to, you know, the downstairs. Hey, look, a crafting bench. Free crafting bench, bro. Thank you very much. But, yeah, that's pretty cool. I was originally going to do, like, mystical agriculture, like, down here, like, in all this jungle and stuff. But I kind of want to just keep it, like, underground and, like, you know private and away from mobs and stuff because that's all scary i also want to work on the thermal expansion stuff but i think we'll leave that to another episode because i want to work on mystical agriculture because that's something i can sort of do between episodes but i wrote a little clipboard over here i also found that you can put clipboards on the wall by just shift right clicking them on the wall like that which is like cool so thanks b for telling me that but i also added some machines here that are pretty useful so i can i should make these eventually when we do thermal expansion and stuff but this requires me to move 
all my machines from upstairs and i'm just a little bit too lazy to do that i mean it took me like a month to clean my room so i'm i'm lazy as heck dude i don't know how long it's gonna take me to move all this stuff in in minecraft dude okay let's get the me stuff out of the way because that's super boring and you know i want everyone to leave the video before we do the fun stuff <laughs> no please don't leave the video i need that viewer retention so what we're gonna make today is the me drive and to make that we need these engineering processes and to make those we need an inscriber so to make an inscriber we need two sticky pistons, some iron, and a flux crystal. And I made a bunch of flux crystals between the episodes because I was just, you know, I was very excited to, to play more Boundless and record it. I love this series. Also, I found out between episodes that you can put, uh, stand in your smeltery, get blood in there, and then just pour it into, like, the, the thing. And then you get coagulated blood, and this can basically just be used for slime. I did not know that, dude. This makes my life very easy when I want... uh slimes because slimes are sometimes annoying to get so we got the two sticky pistons i'm gonna put four nether quartz in there just to make four pieces of silicone because i need that let's grab some iron like this and then put this here so we get the inscriber now i'm just gonna put this inscriber right here i think that'll accept the power from the energy acceptor that's coming from the color we have nothing in the culinary generator lucky we got berry medleys for days <laughs> so we'll put these in the culinary generator this should accept the power from that and then it should you know do some good stuff and then let's get the basic stuff out of the way for the me drive so we need four iron ingots and then we need two of these me glass cables and then to make these we're just going to make a quartz fiber which is made by grinding uh certus quartz and then you just put glass around it and we get three of them and since i'm a very lazy boy i'm just gonna put a half a stack of certus quartz into the pulverizer so i have some for the future oh yeah i'm pulverizing a bunch of cobblestone because i think my yeah my cobblestone storage drawer is mad wait who the heck is dude what what you son of a gun what is he doing here wait wait hold up keep the sneaky music all right all right all right what uh is is he you think this is funny you really think this is funny dude i'm that's it, dude. He thinks that's funny. We've got to cancel making this stuff because Tibsy has decided to pull a prank on me. What about open blocks? What's an open block that I can reverse prank him with, dude? Does he think this is funny? Oh, I see it right now. Oh my goodness, the golden egg. You think this is funny, Tibsy? You think this is a place for pranking? No, dude, this is not a place for pranking. I need another freaking crafting station. All right, here we go. Golden egg. If you guys are crazy craft fans, you know what the golden egg does. If you guys don't know what the golden egg does, hey, go look at Tip. Jesus, what are these, dude? How, is this a ladder? Is he saying I'm short or something? Tibsy, I'm like two feet taller than you, dude. Get out of here, bro. All right. I'm, I think this is going to be like the last of my grappling hook, and it's worth it, dude. All right. Actually, if I place it on the ground, does it do something bad? Oh, God. Now I'm scared. Dude, he's got an entire kitchen here, but doesn't have a crafting table. Dude, where is... Is that a crafting table? No. What? Dude, where the heck? Most useless kitchen in Minecraft, dude. Come on. Okay, now I'm going to make a crafting table. All right. We're going to put it on an item rack right here. Uh-oh uh oh no 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 break it break it break it break it break it please 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 okay okay that was a close one okay you can't put the golden egg on an item rack uh um okay i'm thinking i'm thinking uh okay let's eat this cookie uh what about um okay let's just put it in the microwave dude okay there we go it's in the microwave okay and now i need to make a good escape okay use the last of my grappling hook and now I'm just going to say, Tibsy, there is something in your microwave. <laughs> Did you put it there? Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> all right, god damn, I'm just going to, excuse me, just going to get past all these ladders. I can't believe I just witnessed that live, dude. Who does he think I am? This is a serious business. This is Minecraft. This is my job, dude. <sighs> Let me just dust off my hands. That golden egg should sort him out for a little bit. All right, where were we? Let's get these uh, cables made quartz fiber and then to make it into this we need these fluix crystals how many do we get from that four okay let's just make all those into me glass cables oh very nice we even get an achievement for that and then lastly we're to make is these engineering processes this is the hard part i'm very prepared for this i actually wrote all this stuff down like ages ago so i'm going to take this four silicon out of here and i'm going to get the inscriber silicon press now guys w watch this you're about to witness something crazy so i put this up here and then i put this there is that how that works yeah, that does work like that i'll show you like this you can see watch that ready and 
Wait, is it gonna do it? Oh, there we go. Presses it down into these printed silicon. This is like old computer stuff. Like, I don't know if it relates to anything in the real world because I'm not that smart of a human being, but it's cool. It's cool. Like, we need four of these. And then I had two diamonds in here ready from before. We need to put the diamonds in here with the inscriber engineering press. And that's gonna make us these printed engineering circuits. Ooh, fancy. Look at this thing go. Bye bye, diamond. <sighs> It's like me eating a sandwich, dude. Yum, yum, yum. And then finally, last thing we need is a bit of redstone in there. And we put that one on top. We put the silicon on the bottom, redstone in the middle. And that's going to make these engineering processes. Oh, there we go. And we just need one more of those. This was all very complicated to me when I first like heard about it. I was like, geez, dude, I got to do so much work. But now it's... Is this going to blow up my house? Oh, no, dude. Um... <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh no, dude. I, I, all he did was put some ladders in my place. Dude, I don't want to blow up his house. Do we, uh, <laughs> are we going to be able to see from here what's going to happen? Oh, he's doing it. He's doing it. Oh God. Oh God. And oh, would you look at that? Dude, what's going on? What's going on? Uh, I'm just going to, I'm baiting you guys. Go watch Tipsy's episode to find out what happens, dude. We got better things to do than look at golden eggs, guys. I'm trying to make a computer in Minecraft. Jeez. Why'd you bait a strawberry, Tim? I really want to know what was in the golden egg. Anyway, there we go. We got our ME drive. That's another piece of the puzzle made. I'm just going to plop this down here for now. I mean, it's not going to do anything just sitting there, but we can come over here and tick that off. And uh, next episode, we'll work on the crafting terminal. I think I want to make like a bunch of crafting terminals because the crafting terminal is the spot where you access it. But yeah, next episode, we'll make the crafting terminal. Then we also need some sort of power. I guess these step are pretty useful. Like, I mean, hey, dude, if you need to get up like two blocks to like break something, that's not too bad. But I, I just don't need like a hundred of them. I think Timsy might have made a couple hundred. So I need a bunch of these prosperity shards. Um, I, I think I have lots of them because you just get them from mining and I've done a heck ton of mining. We also need seeds. So let me grab these seeds. And then do I have any more prosperity shards? I think that's all my prosperity shards. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to craft all of these into, uh, what are these? Base crafting seeds. Oh, there we go. 64 of them. And let's just make the rest of these into more base crafting seeds. There we go. I got a stack and 25. And now what I do with these is I surround them with Imperium Essence to make tier one crafting seeds. Now you use Imperium Essence a lot in mystical agriculture and you can actually get a tier three Imperium seed. And I think this is what I want to start out by growing. Cause if I can get a seed that just gives me Imperium Essence, that's really good, dude. You gave me two of the coolest gifts ever. Thank you kind sir. No, dude, I was trying to prank him bro. Guys, seriously, open up the description. Go check out other people on the server. If you guys are craving more balance episodes, everyone on the server makes good vids, dude. I'm telling you, I'm not lying. Anyway, let's get these tier one crafting seeds let, let me see so once i make these tier one crafting seeds to make tier two we need prundamtimium essence to make that we need oh my good god dude we need one of these infusion crystals and to get one of these it is a diamond and oh no i used all my prosperity shots ah wait wait we're, we're, we're I'm reaching a, a new low guys I'm, I'm searching through my scraps here my scrap chest. Anything? No prosperity shards? Wait, there's some inferior essence in there. I'll happily take that. Okay, we probably should have just stopped at the stack of the, the base crafting seeds. Now I look like an idiot. All right, I know what to do. Okay, we're going to change our plans just a tad, okay? You see my hammer here? This, this hammer is really good, but I want to go mining because I need to go get more freaking stuff. And this, this hammer is good for mining. It'll last like a few minutes. And I have to come back here and repair it. But Grape has a very OP hammer and it's crafted like this. All right, there we go. Very nice. This is the same hammer that Grape has, and his works very, like, very, very nicely. I just got to add some modifiers to it, but let's call this the Shafter, because it's going to make a lot of big shafts, because it's, um, you know, like, it's going to dig, like, three by three holes. There we go. Let's get that bad boy. Sorry, Blue. I'm going to have to retire you, dude. This guy, too good. And then also, I want to make one of these excavators, because these mine three by three dirt and stuff, so I think I want to make one of these like this. And I've also made an excavator. Got my excavator, cobalt head, paper plate, copper tool rod, and an ardite, and an ardite binding. Don't know if that's good, but we'll make it anyway. There we go. And I also called him Dig. Because, like, you know, he's an excavator. He digs. And then as far as modifiers go, I think I want to add... I'm going to add haste on first. Um, Okay, so 50 haste. There we go. And then I'm also going to add the mending moss. I think I have everything to make mending moss. I want two bowls of moss because, you know, we got two new tools. I'll just put it here for now. 
and bam and bam let's put the mending moss on that and i love glowing because it just places torches for me and i'm lazy so i'm gonna get some glowing on that guy there we go glowing and is that the modifiers one can i add one more modifier on and then i'm just gonna add lapis on for luck because uh you know luck's good why why not why why not have just a little bit of luck on that i can upgrade luck all the way up to 180 or does that take up an extra modifier wait can i keep adding luck to this okay i have 110 luck out of 180 i can't add any more luck as uh I, i've run out of lapis i don't think I think I have any more lapis in my entirety of my base. As far as uh, modifiers on the excavator, it has one more modifier I can add. I don't know what I want to add. I, I'll use it for a bit and figure that one out in a sec. But I need to go on a large mine to get myself some more of this freaking prosperity shard. So I'm going to go mine for like 20, 30 minutes. And this is going to be a quick little teleport for you guys. And just like that, we're back from mining. Uh, Mr. Straub, you, you hardly got anything. Oh, dude, just one second. Let me open up my back. Wow, that's a lot of cobblestone. I actually got to stop collecting all this cobblestone because I think it's useful, but it's it's pretty much useless, isn't it? It's so useless. Anyway, out of that mining, I think the uh, prosperity shards spawn higher up in the world, but I, I can't be bothered mining it at like a high level. So, you know, I got 25 of them. I think that's all I really need. I also got some more charged status quartz, which are like rare as heck to find, which makes me like a lucky guy, I guess. And the pickaxe is really good. I got 33 levels from that mining trip, dude. Like no matter what you mine, like with this hammer, it gives you XP. So if you're mining stone, it gives you XP. I think that's from the copper handle or something, dude. But like, look at my XP tank just fill up, dude. Oh my goodness. My XP tank's really filled to the top. I'm just going to use the diamonds we got from that mining trip to make myself some storage draw upgrades. This increases storage by eight times. Actually, I'll show you these emeralds. 13 times. Now, emeralds are more useful than diamonds because I need my emeralds to get those ender balls. Open up this drawer and now it can hold up to... 672 stacks of cobblestone very nice all right that emptied a small amount of my bag okay now what we need to do is make this infusion crystal which is just a diamond some inferior essence and some whatever this stuff's called there we go we got our infusion crystal and now what the infusion crystal does is it has a thousand uses and you can upgrade the Inferium Essence to Prodemptium Essence. And the reason why we upgrade it is so we can make these higher tiered crafting seeds. So I think if we want to make this Intermedium Essence, we got to wrap Prentari and Bum Bum Essence uh into it with the infusion crystal now i gotta scavenge through all my hundreds of chests see where all my essence is okay there's some 39 more in this one and what about this one? Oh, there's nine more in that one. Oh, there's 40 more what about uh there's two more in here and i think that's about it what about in my chest from my loot bag um no no essence really from all those loot bags no essence i don't think you can get this in loot bags then i swear you get the essence from everything and then also i have some more essence downstairs any more essence down here that i can nab and one more in here perfect wait what what on earth what is this <laughs> ship in a bottle and a log bench hmm i really wonder how this got here god damn dude wait have i been doing this wrong oh my goodness there is there's six different types of inferium seeds dude i thought i needed a tier three it doesn't matter okay so i made all these base crafting seeds for nothing dude. i look like an idiot anyway let's do it like this okay there's our tier one inferium seed. There's our tier two inferium seed. There's our tier three inferium seed. And I don't think I can get any higher than tier three because, um, yeah, I, I'm, <laughs> I have eight intermediate methods, but I need what? Eight of eight of the superior methods to upgrade it to tier four. So we're just going to stick with the tier three for now. Okay. No, we can get another tier two, but we need a little bit more inferior methods to get the tier three. For another seed i swear i had so much more inferior essence but it seems that it's just gone missing um but i kind of have an idea of where it went let me just come back here and take a look at this dude hold up hold up i'm just gonna log on to my computer real quick all right here we go and uh all right, tap away, tap away, and <clears throat> I'm gonna take a little look at Hey I'm B's episode of Boundless at the certain <laughs> oh timestamp. Um, his computer's off and he's just staring at it. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take some, okay? Uh, I remember I owe him a diamond seed. I'm writing this down in my head. Uh, anything? <gasps> oh my gosh, there is so much. This will help out. Don't worry, Strawberry Jam, I've got you. Diamond Seeds will be a big benefit to you. Oh, wow. So that's where all my Inferium Essence went. Wait, I'm st I'm actually stuck. Okay. Oh, okay. I was just trying to make a joke, dude. Dude, I'm stuck in the... Ch Bro! Please? Oh, okay, wait. wait. Dude. Um. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the episode. Bye.
like when you when you're taking a poop but it just doesn't come out. Oh, oh. All right, last thing that I gotta do is just make a hoe. I'm gonna make a sapphire hoe because you know my hoe's gonna be shiny like that. You know, like sap I'm just kidding. That was awful. And then come on down here, get my water bucket out of here, use my sapphire hoe, hoe this dirt like this, and um, let's plant these these crops. And um, yeah, yeah, I guess I, I guess now we just we just wait. Um, yeah. Okay, well that only took uh like 40 minutes to get a few Inferium Essence. Um, don't know what the deal is with this guy. Well, I found out that if I make a watering can from extra utilities too, which is like the easiest thing to make, I can just water these crops and they like, they, they grow so much quicker, which is actually really good for me. I've just been sitting here watering them, you can see my Inferium Essence is growing. But dude, this is so cool, because wait, let's just grow this one. Come on, brother, come on. Bro, so close, 86%, and uh, how come when I record, you take so long to grow? Please, you were doing it so quickly before. Bro, there we go, okay. We've got this. Let's break this seed now, okay? We get our inferior seeds back, and let's do this. Let's get this in here like this. I want to get eight of these, tier two, whatever they're called. I can't pronounce it. And then let's make some of these intermediate essences, and then we can upgrade this tier two seed to a tier three seed. Very nice. Well, now I got two tier three seeds in there, which is, uh, I don't know, like all the attributes of the different seeds. Like, I don't like, obviously like the higher tier seeds give you more, but like, I don't know if like the higher tier seeds take longer to grow, but like, I, I guess it's like RNG dependent or like tick dependent or something. But from my research, I know that the tier five seed gives like five times the amount of inferior essence compared to the tier one seed. Anyway, let's take this inferior essence. I'm going to use it with a base crafting seed. We're going to upgrade this bad boy to a tier one seed. And then let's also get some tier two essence. There we go. And we're going to upgrade this to a tier two crafting seed. And then I just need another 16 inferior essence. And then I can make some coal seed. And then technically we're growing diamonds because we coal. You put it into a macerator and you get coal dust and then use the coal dust to make coal bowl. And then you use that in a compressor to make a compressed coal bowl. And then you use eight of those with some iron block bricks or obsidian. And that gives you a coal chunk. And then you use that in the compressor and it gives you a diamond. Let's go boys. Clickbait title. It's not clickbait because it's true. Well, I guess it's still clickbait technically. And we can also use coal to get emeralds from our uh, villages up there. And just like that, we got some coal seeds. Let's plant these. And I think this is the last thing that I'm going to water in can that I'm just going to call it an episode, dude, because I've been sitting here for a very long time watering crops in Minecraft. It's not the, the best way to spend your time, honestly. I could be working out, going to the gym right now, you know? Like, I love working out, dude. Like, I could be doing that right now. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm going to be fat forever. There we go. We got some coal essence. And what you do with the coal essence is eight of it equals 12 coal. That's actually not too bad. Am I going to sit here and grow eight of these? Absolutely not. So thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next episode. Get out of here. <laughs>